Let's all boot up our artistic hard drives and digitally revive a GM icon from the dead. Here's our exclusive modern take on the long dormant Chevy Biscayne. Future cars. Future cars. Future cars. With the Chevy Camaro, along with the Dodge Charger and Challenger gone for 2024 and no direct replacement on the horizon, the GM Pony Car is history, but hopefully not ancient history. We think a new Chevy muscle car would be well received, like really well received. Since the Camaro moniker has already been put out to pasture, there could be use for one of Chevy's most memorable nameplates from yesteryear, the Biscayne. A new Biscayne could lead the paired pack affordable muscle car revolution we've all been waiting for, taking inspo from late 60s models. Hot Cars artist Timothy Adria Manuel provides us with an inspired render that takes some spirit from the 67 Biscayne and applies it to a modern muscle car base. This exclusive Biscayne rendering seems reminiscent of both the outgoing Chevy Camaro and the Dodge Challenger. Its front end looks all Challenger, while that Coke bottle kink in the rear could be from either muscle car. Like the original full-size car from 67, this reimagining summons a pointed nose and angular fender tops. And check out the grille that extends to each protruding side. Twin LED headlamps mimic the Biscayne's gaze. But there's more inspiration on the side. That crimp in the rear and the triangular sloping rear window are also inspired by the original, as is the badging. 60s artistry meets 2024 design. And while this vehicle is completely fictional, we can only imagine its power. And that's exactly what we've done. The C8 Corvette Z06's LT6 engine is a 670 horsepower monster, but the Biscayne might be better suited with a 2023 Chevrolet Camaro 460HP LT1 V8 as a pricier flagship option. The brand could use the supercharged 640 horsepower LT4 from the Camaro ZL1. Yeah, we think Chevy totally has the power plant options covered. Ultimately, it's worth remembering the Biscayne for what it was. This classic car sat at the bottom of Chevy's full-size hierarchy under the Bel Air. At the top of the range sat the premium and pricey Caprice and Impalas, but the Biscayne offered some of the same looks, size, and power for less with fewer options and luxury. So in a perfect what-if multiverse situation where Chevrolet continues the V8-powered Camaro line, we definitely see how the lineup could get split into a paired-back Biscayne model with fewer options, alongside a flagship Camaro with increased luxury. Thank <laughs> you.